Hi everyone, wanting to know how to install Android on your Raspberry Pi? Well, this is the video for you. Let's get right into installing Android on our Raspberry Pi. So, to install this operating system, you want to head over to the link in the description. Then you want to scroll down and click this link right here to take you to the download page. You want to download that file, then you want to head over to Raspberry Pi Imager and select an operating system, select other and select that file. Then for storage, you want to select your micro SD card or SSD and click right. Then what you want to do is you want to find the area where it has links to find Google Apps packages you want to download these. You want to click this file and click the Pico one and it will download. Then if you are using an SSD, you want to go to the bootconfig.txt file after you get the image flashed. And you want to comment out the SD card line mentioned here and do the USB one instead. Okay, so I have my micro SD card inserted into my Raspberry Pi and I'm about to turn it on. So let's turn it on. I just plugged in my Raspberry Pi and we should be booting up in Lineage OS right here. Okay, so here we are at the Lineage OS setup screen. So what we can do is click next. Then we have to accept these. Then we select our language. Select our location services settings. And then select our features. Then if we want a pin, we can set that up. Then we can restore from backup if we like. Start. And here we are in Android. So we can look around and we have this Android operating system. However, there is no Play Store. So we can fix that. We can go into our settings. Then we want to go to our search bar and we can type advanced restart then we can turn this on right here now there is a file that i have downloaded this you can actually download it in the built-in browser here although it's not a very good browser you can try to download it anyway because it thinks the software downloads aren't possible on this device or you can use the method i showed you earlier Anyway, let's go home and then let's press and hold F5 on our keyboard and it will bring us to this menu. We click restart and then we go into recovery. So let's let this restart into recovery mode. So here we are in recovery mode. We want to swipe to allow modifications. So in recovery mode, you want to go to install right here. Then you want to go to download and you can select your file that you downloaded. You can select anywhere you saved it. Anyway, now what we can do is swipe to confirm flash and it will flash this file right here. Note that this will factory reset your system after we are done with all this process. Then we are done here and we want to click this right here. Swipe to wipe. Then you want to click Reboot System. And now we have our Play Store. So if we go to our Play Store, we are going to need to do some setup. After we do the setup, then we can use it. So we just need to sign into Google and things like that. So after sign in, you can use the Play Store as normal. We will test out some apps here in. So for testing purposes, I have installed Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Launcher. That's why the launcher looks different right here. So that seems to be working good. Now let's try Edge. We can run some benchmarks, do things like that. 
so we will skip the sign in process. So we are going to run JetString2 from BrowserBench.org. This will test the browser's performance in this operating system so we can compare it to other systems running Microsoft Edge. Google Chrome also gets a similar score. Okay, so here we have our score for JetStream2. So this is kind of low for a Raspberry Pi, however keep in mind that mobile sites load faster, so it might not be as big of a deal. So let's try to go to my channel. Okay, ready, set, go. It works reasonably well. Now let's go to videos. Let's click on my latest video. And this seems to be playing okay right here. Now let's try going to raspberrypi.org. Ready, set, go. And that seems to be loading reasonably quickly as well. So if you are making a tablet or something, this might be a good operating system for it. However, keep in mind that this will not work on the official Raspberry Pi 7-inch touchscreen display for driver incompatibility reasons. So everyone, that's it for today. Subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, Apple see you next time.